Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Maxilumi 50 feet LED strip light with infrared remote ultra long LED lights for bedroom and so on. Yeah, it says it has mo uh, music sync and it has like the app, of course, three button switch and uh, a lot. I mean, it's uh, not cheap. I mean, not cheap. Uh, yeah, it's $50. It's around what we can expect at this size. So here we have the box and uh, some description, product features. If you're interested into that, do we have more? Here's some QR code and yeah, that's it. Uh, so let's open that. So it came not sealed. So here we open that and there's some information. Yeah, we put this on the side. So here's the box. Yeah, it doesn't really look used, but it's a little bit a uh, mess inside. So not really uh, great, uh, not really great protection. Here we have the user manual if you're interested into that. Sometimes you can make a better buy decision when you uh, have seen everything. So, so I'll put down the whole manual so hopefully you can read everything. And uh, if you don't need that, just skip two or three minutes and sometimes it helps to make better buy decision or if you lost the instructions or if you bought used or so sometimes it can be really helpful take some time here but sometimes a lot of people are getting problems over time with these leds sometimes it works at the beginning then in a sudden uh, stops working they're having problems and then this question how to fix that or how to use these functions so uh, here we see music mode microphone mode timer mode yeah that's pretty easy i think that's not so difficult usually it's pretty easy from the app here some uh, special information and yeah looks like they don't have a web page at least that's normal gmail do we have something here doesn't look like web page but at least we get some contact information that's really helpful key points of installation maybe also this could be helpful and this as well i think it has been focusing nicely 18 months of warranty and yeah a lot of information again similar thing maybe yeah installation method important notes yeah, i'll have a lot to read extension cord so we see yeah let's check where, what we really get we get a lot of these pieces which you can probably then add use in between this cord so we have uh, extension here i don't know if you get also like uh, repair yeah, sometimes these leds they break and then you need some uh, repair parts here we have everything there's a lot uh, that's probably just uh, like mounts and there are some things uh, maybe connectors like corner a uh, couple of things maybe that's a, a repair so everything is a little bit yeah they are sticking together you can see not well done i mean it's 3m but uh, yeah we have to be careful so we can use these things but it doesn't look like a lot of these mounts here for uh, 50 feet yeah what we have here and put this on the side so you can see that that's the control or the controller I make it a little bit bigger here so you can see everything what we get get also the remote and then of course get uh, these three sets of these LED lights and yeah here's some mounting tape you can see it's really a lot I put this on the side so you can see to show you the whole picture so you can really see what you get uh, there's a lot for this $50 which you get also these uh, straps here to secure another tape and here the uh, power adapter 
there's even here some screws at the moment I have no clue where we would need that yeah here massive power adapter uh, works for 100 volts to 240 volts that's good works worldwide so yeah so I think the idea is to have this controller and then use these things here uh, separate but uh, somehow it looks like we can also put them after each other instead of having them uh, three in parallel. I've been reading a little bit about these connectors here, these 90 degree connectors and so they seem to be uh, used in the corners like when you have to go uh, around corners it's really super hard if you don't cut I've already done this around corner and it uh, bent a lot and it always tends to get loose so properly made you have to uh, cut and then use this so cut is always like here you see the cut hope you can see that here where the black line is here you have to cut and then you have to put uh, I use such a thing and open here you can even open that like this and you have these uh, metal adapters and you have to push that I think like in between here so the end which you have been cutting here you push inside here these two uh, metal pin layers and then uh, push it down to so secure it again so and then it should uh, cut nicely into the metal and uh, make sure that it is connected so what you also have to make sure of course that it is aligned uh, nicely with the right pin so you have the green red blue you see that green red blue so you know which one and the, the other one here is the black obviously so you make sure that it's not a uh, vice versa and you have the right plus and the minus but that's definitely a good thing I have already uh, bought uh, LED strips without these corners and it was super uh, difficult to get around the corners with something like that it's much easier it would have been nice to get more corners but at least we have some and so here there's the whole description uh, about the things how to use so if you are not using that if you don't have to cut you can just extend like you, you start with this roll and then this one and then the third one and you can just push these things inside just make sure you are not using it like this here we have the arrow on top here we have it at the bottom so make sure we turn it around but anyway it's super easy because of the colors you see I mean we have to have black black and blue blue so I have to be on the same uh, level so yeah here we have a nice description how to follow what procedure to follow when we install it so you have to really uh, attach it properly uh, so it sticks nicely and the corners here we had the corners which we have been uh, seen before and uh, yeah along the corners I mean yeah just off the corner on this side use this uh, clips and here as well a clip another clip to secure I think that that can help a lot and I have done already installation and it was super hard to stick I mean usually they have a self adhesive uh, tape I'm not sure about this one here you'll have to find out yeah so it looks like we have also this tape here in the back which we can use first time but uh, let's say if we have uh, used it uh, like if you have put it on the wrong space or you're not satisfied with that so you can use this one if you have to uh, reinforce that sometimes with the original uh, glue it doesn't stick I really had this problem it was a big big problem that can highly recommend to use something like this and do not use normal glue and definitely do not use like instant glue I've been using instant glue like this uh, thing which uh, dries in a few seconds I put it on the LED strip and I de damaged it so not everywhere but in a couple of spots I damaged the uh, layer which should transmit the uh, electronics I mean the power and so uh, yeah stay away from glue 
So there's also some information about the power. So I would make sure that you do this the last uh, thing as a last thing. So connect everything properly and only then attach it to the power. Don't do not uh, attach the power first and then start to uh, try around. So that's much more safe, not only for you but also for the LED. So here is how it works. We have these female adapters here. We have also these uh, arrows here. You can see we have the arrows so you can uh, align these things uh, nicely. So here, uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit small, but maybe we can see that. Yeah, I think now you can see that here the arrow on the black is better visible than on the white, but now I think you can see that. So I'm connecting single ones. Uh, the thing is also you actually shouldn't uh, connect and use them like uh, I do here. So this is on my own risk. So it's definitely not recommended. I'm just going to show you that really quickly. I want to make this review so we can see how this works. But usually it's definitely not recommended to use it when it's still uh, like on the roll so I mean they are LEDs and not like high power not producing uh, extreme heat but still also LEDs produce quite some heat and when you have uh, turned them on for too long time like this uh, there's too much heat they can overheat the LEDs can be damaged the glue can be damaged everything can be damaged so I'm just going to show this very quickly and not always all the functions and we can see here when you have turned them on so here really nicely they work and we have these uh, lights which we can change you can see blue it's really nice to have these predefined colors already. I have to find out where the receiver is. Yeah, here I think there's somewhere the receiver. I have to make sure that we can hit that. Yellow is always a little bit a problem uh, or was a problem, but here not so much. Looking actually pretty good. So I'm turning off the light a little bit. Yeah, I think it's even better when you, I show you everything at the same time. So here on page 9 you have the QR code, you can scan it with the camera, then you get to the Google Play Store and you can install this Lotus Lantern. So it has uh, yeah, a little bit mixed reviews, like always with these things, a lot of one star reviews uh, from people who are not satisfied, but doesn't have to be regarding the app. Uh, sometimes these apps are built for a lot of manufacturers, for a lot of LEDs, and when then the LED doesn't work, so people are giving bad reviews to the app. Yeah, so here it is. So let's see how easy this is to connect. You have to give uh, access to the location. Regarding to the instructions, it said it will ask automatically to turn on wireless connection and this has not happened. This is a little bit strange. So I'm trying here on the top to add maybe something manually. I don't know. Yeah, we can connect and disconnect already. Maybe it has already found it. So we don't have to do anything. Yeah, you can see. So I didn't have to uh, ask this, uh, I mean, confirm here or search or do anything. I mean, there's no Wi-Fi. I think it's just Bluetooth. And probably when Bluetooth is off, it will ask you to turn on Bluetooth. And as long as you have Bluetooth already turned on, it probably will uh, work automatically. And you can see, you can uh, now change the intensity and light and everything here. I turned off the light here also a little bit and so you can see and here we can yeah, turn it on, turn it off, do everything here, uh, really nice thing, style, music, microphone, schedule, uh, repeat for every day and time and those things, so really nice and we have as a second possibility a uh, really simple possibility here of course we cannot change schedule and so on but a lot of things we can do and as a third thing we can change the colors and intensity and those things also here as you can see here's the color and here's the intensity and when we long press we can just turn it off 
and yeah that's really good so we have three possibilities to uh, do something here we have even a demo mode hope it, you can see that a little bit different modes here different uh, colors we can play around I let it play for a little bit not too long it's it's not hot it's a little bit warm so I think I can still keep going for a little bit I don't see a lot of change I think this is just all the colors uh, in a low uh, setting so definitely not too much and here we have different modes like this pulsing mode we have different colors yeah that's also a nice mode here as a there are a couple of things you can do but definitely not everything but already a couple of nice things if you don't have the app or the remote control around this can be definitely helpful so looks at the moment really good uh, nice colors uh, I would say definitely better than the old ones which I have now installed what I'm going to show you now is how we can connect them okay so I have it here a uh, serial not in parallel connected and you can see it's uh, still good for the whole set so there's enough power uh, from the power adapter and here so you can have it connected in one line uh, instead of uh, parallel if you want that I mean if you want to go very far away like uh, if you want to have everything close to the control you can do this parallel I mean it looks like there's no difference you cannot control them on an individual base uh, so from what I can see so they are always on the same color but if you want to extend this LED really far from the controller so you have to do it in this way so just connect it to one here and connect these two and connect also these uh, two rolls then you can really uh, go far like almost around your whole home or yeah uh, really far away instead when you are close you're using uh, usually probably these three things and you do something like really fancy in your kitchen or so so you can use both styles three controllers really nice set uh, colors are really good really intense um, yeah I'm going to show you the maximum uh, once again okay so here we are I'm doing this just very quickly then I'll have to go down again so here I think we are on the maximum I can definitely smell the glue a little bit so I'm turning it down and turn it off again so I don't want to destroy this really nice LED set so it looks like it's pretty simple I've been able to do this I mean just connect and uh, yeah use the app and everything within a couple of minutes was really straightforward no problem at all yeah, there are a couple of other things to mention here the remote control that's not Bluetooth when you control the light with your app it's Bluetooth when you control it with this remote control it's infrared obviously so you have to be like in reach but it's pri pretty powerful but you can you can't be in another room or so you have to be in visible distance and here's the receiver by the way so it's not built in unfortunately here so it's a little bit weird that we have the receiver here but uh, yeah it is as it is and there's nothing in this manual about a total reset some of these LED strip lights can be uh, totally reset uh, when you have problems uh, there's also no here no button no nothing so sometimes you can just uh, plug it in plug out plug in plug out like five times you have to wait always a couple of seconds I've done this with another device and it has been working I don't know if that would work here too but it is not described so if you have problems contact the company here and you will get some information the last thing here is uh, regarding the sound there is some little bit of sound when you turn it on like here I turn it on and it's on the lowest setting there's nothing to hear at least for me I cannot hear any, anything so if we turn on the uh, light the intensity uh, it starts to produce a little bit of a sound and put this close to the microphone and I'm not going to tell something I put it close to the microphone and increase the light intensity and so maybe you will be able to hear that
so depending on the brightness it is a little bit more or a little bit less it's not much it's very low i have had this with every with all the leds till now i think that's just a common thing or common problem maybe you could uh, do something with a lot of money of course but in this price range i think it's just something which you have to deal with and uh, there's no workaround except yeah on the lowest setting uh, there's nothing but uh, if you go a little bit higher there's uh, more but it, i think it's not like uh, really annoying and usually you don't have this uh, right uh, on your side so if it's a little bit up there or below something you probably won't hear that so i think it's not a problem here so it looks like everything is nicely made nicely built the instructions are good we get a lot of the accessories i mean the additional things like the tape here and these straps and connectors and corners and so much things so i think it's a pretty good value i mean for 50 dollars what we get here and we get even warranty on that and uh, yeah it's definitely way better than the thing which i already have uh, here is also the qr code we can uh, have it uh, like running with music and um, or microphone uh, like for karaoke or whatever so or just on a schedule i have mine outside the old one on a schedule and i really love it so it's it's, it's such an awesome thing so uh yeah also in kitchen or in the bedroom i have also one in the bedroom and that's really awesome uh this is uh the thing to go i think in 2020 leds yeah uh definitely something which uh, you can use to uh, create a lot of nice style in or around your home and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing of this set down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time